It's lift off for the debut Dubai Balloon Festival. We're in the heart of the desert and it's just after six o'clock in the morning and it is very cold. Behind me is the large commercial balloon. It's got a basket which will hold 10 passengers and the pilot. Our balloon is somewhat smaller and is presently being rigged by our pilot Alan and his team with the backdrop of fossil rock. Alan, you're inside the basket at the moment, getting the, the balloon ready for our flight. So, how do you start assembling this? I'm... What? We start basically by rigging the basket first, put in the fuel tanks, rig the burner systems, connect everything up. Then it's a matter of doing the pre-flight checks, making sure tanks are f obviously full of fuel, um, check burner pressures, check the burners are operating properly, um, put in all the flight instruments that we need, put on the tether line to the car just to restrain it during the inflation process and then the guys are just setting up the, the balloon envelope prior to cold inflation. Um, so what have you got to do now? You've got a big fan there I can see. Yeah, and that, that's going to blow cold in, air into the envelope. All right. And what we call cold The envelope. So are there a few key pointers which passengers should not do once they're inside the basket? Yeah, the, the first thing on boarding the balloon, board from the back so that the balloon, if it does break free and gets a freak gust of wind, yeah. unlikely this morning because it's very calm conditions, but passengers don't get knocked over by the basket. I will be in the basket to fly the balloon, sure. but I will ask you to board the balloon, come in from the back of the balloon and board the basket then. Once in the basket, if you want to hold on, hold on to the tops of the tanks. There are rope handles in the basket as well, safe to hold on. Don't please grab any fuel lines or any of the, what you can see as, as the flying lines that right. I control the balloon with. Uh, have a nice flight. If we have to land quickly, if there's an emergency, again, unlikely event, coming into land, knee slightly bent, hands on the rope handles. Now you're getting me worried now. No, so no, no, no. Okay. Everything has to be safe. <laughs> but please don't, sure. the important thing is don't lean out of the basket, don't have your hands over the basket because if the basket tips over when it lands, okay. obviously you, you, there's a risk of being thrown sure. out and you damaging okay. your hands. So Okay, so we'll let's get, get we'll ready get, to inflate, yes. shall we? Okay. So this there is the go. moment we've been waiting for the takeoff, the lift off of the, the balloon. And Alan the pilot just taking off those lines and we're very gently lifting upwards at the moment and uh, we'll speak to Alan about the controls. I can see his hands on a, a little lever which as he pulls it down we we'll It is so gentle. Yeah. It's incredible. Be quiet. Stunning view of the mountains over there, fossil rocks. So, Alan, what sort of altitude is that? We're going to fly over, aren't we? The, from the desert to the top of the mountain is about 600 feet. My, my friend Dee Shapland, who flies the, the big one for uh, Balloon Adventures, who's a British pilot as well, um, in his 50s, yeah. and his mum and dad still ask him when he's going to get a proper job. <laughs> to see stunning sunrises like that. Who wants a proper job? <laughs> Looking at the Balloon Festival, what, is, what are the main activities for, for pilots and uh, also from the perspective of uh, viewers and visitors? Well, balloon pilots get to experience a, a new and challenging environment. The most, well, pretty much everybody um, who's coming to the Balloon Festival to take part has never flown in the UAE or any Arab country before. So, Alan, we're up at uh, 1,900 feet. Yes. I mean, let's have a look at the controls now of a balloon because you can't do a lot, can you? Really? Basically, there's not an awful lot. Um, to get the balloon to obviously ascend and increase in height, we use the burners just to increase the temperature inside the envelope, and that's what the, we use the right. burners for. Start to cool and descend. Yeah, this, uh, this tells me the altitude, right. and this tells me the uh, rate of ascent. 
Well, we're now flying at an altitude of just under 2,000 feet. The ride itself has been so smooth. Once the burners have stopped, it is so quiet, so peaceful. In fact, I can just hear in the distance a commercial airliner flying by. And looking down onto the ground, the sand dunes, the undulating sand dunes. A few have got tire marks, so you can see four by four cars have been going up these huge sand dunes. And Alan, the pilot, well, we've been talking about the debut Dubai Balloon Festival. We've seen balloons over the last few days of some very unusual shapes, including the flying turtles. So when you get balloons of different shapes, how are they, what's the controllability like compared with this? They tend to have very much more restrictive flying conditions, um, simply because legs of turtles and, you know, <laughs> appendages of houses and everything else tend to be much more difficult to control. In it particularly at inflation. So Al and our pilot said we're coming down, we're just about 300 feet at the moment, somewhere in that area where there's very few trees. No trees and nice open space. Well, it was a very gentle flight and then suddenly the ground came up to us as well. I mean, it seems like that. And here we are. <laughs> Next moment, we're flying on our side, the cage is on the side. So this is what ballooning is all about. It's been a very enjoyable flight. <laughs> Good. Whoa! Oh. Well, well, there we are. Ballooning Dubai style. <laughs> uh, what a nice start to the day. Uniform Delta to retrieve. Drone now. Camera's on my back.